फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ब्यूटी मंत्रा माय नेम इज ज्योतिका आनंद अ फिटनेस एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम मंथन द फिटनेस लाउंज सो दिस वीडियो केटर्स टू द पीपल हु हैव लॉन्ग वर्किंग आवर्स एट वर्क एंड फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हिट टू द जिम एंड बर्न दोस एक्स्ट्रा कैलोरीज ऑफ सो टुडे आई विल बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग द फुल बॉडी वर्कआउट व्हिच यू कैन डू इट एट योर वर्क प्लेस सिटिंग ऑन योर चेयर और यूजिंग योर चेयर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई विल बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग ऑल द एक्सरसाइजेस टू यू स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द लोअर बॉडी एंड मूविंग अपवर्ड्स So the first exercise which I'll be demonstrating to you is called squats. You need to stand with your legs shoulder width apart, arms on the front. You need to push your hips backwards and down. Just touch the chair and come up. Down. Up, squeeze your glutes in when you get up. And exhale down. So things you need to focus on is that your knees should not cross your toes like that you need to always make sure that you're pushing your hips backwards and sitting down on the chair you need to do this exercise 15 times so the second exercise is called leg extension keep your posture straight core tight hold the side of your chair you need to lift your leg up flex your foot Hold it for five seconds. Bring it down. Up, down. Slowly up. Hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and down. And exhale when you lift your leg up. You need to repeat this exercise at least ten times with your right leg first. and do it with your left so this is a very good exercise for strengthening up of your knees so you need to repeat this exercise every alternate day so the third exercise is called split squat you need to place one leg on the chair like that move your leg forward and bend down you need to exhale down keep your core strong and tight and squat at one point so go down and up This exercise works very good on your thighs this part of the leg which is called a quadricep so you need to focus that your knee should not cross your toe like that repeat this exercise 15 times with one leg and 15 times with another so the next exercise is called glutes kickback which works see the name suggests it works on your glute muscles which is called buttock as well so you need to stand straight hold the chair you need to kick back and bring it down till the ball of your foot of your leg other leg so up without touching it down on the floor and exhale with whenever you kick up So you need to control the movement when you bring your leg down. This exercise is beneficial to get those firm toned butts. So moving on to the calf muscles of the body, the next exercise is called calf raises. You need to stand straight, hold the chair, lift yourself up onto the toes and without putting your heels down, you need to go up and up. So exhale whenever you come onto your toes. Hold this position here at least for 2 to 3 seconds and go down slow. You need to repeat this exercise 15 times. So moving on to the core region which consists of abs, oblique, lower back, glutes. So we're going to train this body part now. So first exercise is called a plank. You need to hold the chair. And the best part is that you need to keep on holding to this position. It seems easy, but trust me, it burn those abs very well. So hold it for 30 seconds. You need to keep breathing without holding your breath. Make sure you do not do this. or this so in plank you need to hold it for 30 seconds 
Beginners can hold it for 15 seconds also. It looks very easy, but trust me, it burns those muscles off. So the next exercise is called Mountain Climbers. It again targets those muscles around your abs area. Come into the plank position first and you need to lift your leg up alternately. So alternate knee up and try and lift it up towards your chest area. You can also speed up this exercise to increase that cardio factor which is You can do this exercise slow also and fast depending upon your goal. So if you're looking at a fat loss, you can use the second variation which I have showed you that increases your heart rate and let you burn more calories. Okay, the last exercise targets those flabby arms which I'm sure that all the women have trouble getting rid of. So let's get started and let me just quickly demonstrate you how you can get rid of those flabby arms by doing this exercise at your workstation only. You need to sit on your chair first. Keep your arms inside and you need to bend down. Up, extend your arm up completely. Down, exhale up. Repeat this exercise. 15 times and I assure you that you can get rid of those flabby arms. So you need to do these exercises in a circuit that depends upon you, your fitness level, whether you can do, you are able to do two circuits or three circuits. The maximum number of circuits which one need to do is three circuits. Also, if you're looking at fat loss, I'll be telling you few exercises which needs to be done as a filler exercise between each circuit. So the first exercise is called jumping jacks. Exhale, up with each movement. You can also increase the intensity by doing air jacks after three jumping jacks, like so. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, and up. And the second option for you is called scissors which is alternate arm and leg. So you can use these exercises as a filler exercise between each circuit and you need to repeat these set of exercises every alternate day and I will assure you that you can see the results. I hope you like the video. And if you do so, please give a thumbs up to the video. Also, not to forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also leave a comment if you have any fitness related query in a comment box below. And I would be happy to help you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.